So, ito yung talk ko. Um, so, sino rito yung um, meron ng uh, smartphone? Sino rito may mga smartphone? Sino rito meron Android phone? Kasi mga ba inyo? Alam po yun, nagulong tayo, pero ilang rito yung meron Android phone? Alright, so um, ilan dito yung may iPhone? Sino hindi yung mas marami? Sino mas marami? Yung may iPhone o may Android na phone? Android. Okay. Yung mga okay, yung mga walang phone, ilan? <laughs> marami pa rin naman kasi ang, ang ang phone market, kung baga, uh, lumalaki, papalaki na papalaki yung may smartphone. But obviously, right now, hindi pa rin siya yung pinakamalaking share. Now, um, yung gusto ko sabihin, kasi lahat ng previous speakers nagkwento eh. Sabi ko, gusto ko rin magkwento. Ano nun? Gusto ko rin ano yung talang buhay ko. Okay. So actually, um, ilan dito yung, ano, yung um, IT or computer science yung course? Tapos yung nakita may ilang? Grabe, grabe yung pala. Okay. Ako, hindi ako IT. Obviously, unlike the other speakers, yung actually yung sinabi 18 years, hindi na totoo yun eh. Mukhang more like 20 plus years eh. Um, I've been developing software for 20 plus years. Pero hindi ako nagsimula sa uh, IT. Actually, ang course ko was electrical engineering. Hindi. Pero bang hindi dito? Wala. <laughs> okay. Um, ngayon, yung course na yun, parang nagkaroon lang kami ng isang programming subject. Sa isang lingwahe na hindi nyo na siguro naririnig ngayon. Um, Sino nakarinig na ng Fortran? Ha? Ah, meron pa? Okay. So yun yung programming course ko in college. The only programming course I had was a programming course in Fortran sa UP. Tapos, yung stilo doon, ewan ko, ito siguro talaga, hindi nyo nakarinig. Sino nakarinig ng punch cards? Meron bang nakarinig na ng punch cards? Tapos na nga? Narinig lang. May hindi pa yung nakakita siguro. Magpo-program kami nun ng punch cards. Parang, ano yun eh, card yun na ganito siguro, mag-gip pa kalaki. Tapos, matigas yun, tapos may mga butas yun. Yung bawat butas nun, isang letter, isang character. Kanyari, either a digit. So, each card had 80 columns. Tapos, so, isang, isang card, 80 columns, Ibig sabihin, isang line of code yun. So, if your program had 100 lines of code, you had 100 cards. Tapos, sunod-sunod yun. Ibibigay mo siya, o sir, itakbo nyo. Tapos may magbabasa ng card na yun, itatranslate niya, ipocompile niya, itatakbo niya. Ganun ako mag-program nung una. Ngayon, pag nadama ka, at nahulog mo yung cards, at nagkabalik-baliktad yung cards na yun, matay kang tata ka. Kasi kailangan mong isipin nun, paano nga ba yung order nun? Anyway, ganun ka-primitive yung minabutan ko na simula ang mag-program. Pero I fell in love with programming. So, like yung previous na kwento ni um, Mr. Ramon Pastor, I also fell in love with programming. Not so much with gadgets, but with programming itself. And yun nga, uh, I've stuck with programming for the last 20 plus years. I still program hanggang ngayon. Kahit na nakita nyo medyo, medyo malayo yung nagwat natin siguro sa edad, uh, nagpo-program pa rin ako. So sino rin ito yung nagpo-program? Last nga yung kamay nyo. Okay. Uh, Itatanong ko, ilan dito yung nagpo-program, sa, baro nung mag-program, no? ng PHP. Ah, magami. Sinong marunong ng Python? Ah, 
Magaling yan. Magaling yung mga yan. Alam nyo kung bakit? Alam nyo kung bakit sino yung marunong na Python? Tapos ka ulit. Tapos ka ulit marunong Python. Magaling yung mga yan. Huwag na kayo maya. Alam nyo kung bakit magaling yan? Kasi walang natuturo ng Python eh. Walang class. So, ang natuto lang ng Python, natuto sa sariling sikap. Diba? Diba? Pag ngayon, pag natuto ka ng Python, para ibig sabihin nun, nag-aral ka on your own and you're passionate about learning to program. Okay. On the other hand, sino naman marunong ng Java? Ah, marami rin. Okay. Yung mga Java, yan yung gusto kumita. Kaya marunong din ako ng Java. Diba? Um, yung, kung narinig nyo yung kwento ng buhay ko, I worked in the US for about 9 years. Uh, tapos, nagsimula ako mag-aaral ng Java. Siguro, ano, nagsimula rin yung Java. No? And one of the more interesting developments today is Java is very, very popular. Okay? So ngayon, um, parang hindi naman simula tayo sa Java, bali basically for building web applications. No? Ngayon, nung tumabas yung Android, uh, actually even before uh, lumabas yung Android, yung um, other um, smartphone systems like uh, Blackberry, gumagamit sila ng Java. So if you wanted to, if you already know Java and you wanted to go into mobile application development, uy, madali na lang mag-transition. Ganun din dun sa mga, sino may Nokia phones dito? Yung mga feature phones na tinatawag, merong uh, technology called Java Mobile Edition or Java ME. Yung mga yun, pwede rin kayo gumawa ng applications no? using Java. Pero, Um, limitado yung mga magagawa mo. Um, with the advent of Android, actually, ang unang smartphone would be yung Blackberry. No? Um, mas nagiging power, powerful yung mga applications. Tapos, nung lumabas yung iPhone, isang maganda konsepto yung dinagdag ng iPhone. Yung um, iTunes, yung app market. No? Wherein, it's very easy for external developers to upload their apps and be used by a lot of people. Yun nga yung kwento kanina. Yung kwento na yung kanina ng mga previous speakers. So, wala na kami dapat ka doon. Pero, ganun din yung inadopt ng Android. Okay. So, simulan natin. What is Android? Actually, Android is not a phone. Android is an operating system. No? for mobile devices. So, um, it's free and it's open source. Sino ang nakarinig na ng term na open source at naintindihan ko ni open source? Okay. Ten years ago, pag nagtanong ako doon sa mga sadyante, walang nakakaroon ng open source. Buti naman, marami na nakakaroon doon. Kasi, I've been an advocate for open source for a long time. Hindi ko na sasabihin ko ilan. Pero, for a long, long time, no? Kung maganda yun, alam niyo na kung ano yung sabihin ng open source. The other is that it's also a platform. No? So, operating system siya, but it's also a platform where you can build your own mobile applications. It's also um, devices. So, maraming phones. Well, not Android phone, but there are a lot of kinds of Android devices. No? that run the Android mobile operating systems. Ito yung mga um, Ericsson, meron tayong Samsung, meron tayong LG, meron tayong uh, HTC, no? meron yung Huawei, yung um, some uh, Chinese company rin. No? And it's not exactly owned by Google. It's actually developed by the Open Handset Alliance, a consortium of companies, no? na ang leader nila, syempre, yung nagsimula ng Android, which is Google. Pero itong Open Handset Alliance is all these companies. No? So, hindi lang Google yung nagrara ng, ng um, Android. 
Kasama rito yung mga manufacturers. Manufacturers like uh, yun, HTC, LG, Motorola, Samsung. No? Uh, you also have software companies, obviously Google. No? And a lot of other companies like Broadcom, Intel, Nvidia, mga hardware manufacturers. So, so lahat sila, they all are working towards enhancing and uh, improving the Android operating system. Ngayon, ano yung pwede mong gawin sa Android? One way to think about it is uh, para siyang, ano, para siyang isang bagay, no? Na suddenly, uh, it can do a lot of things, no? If you think about the phone, uh, the, the phone can talk, no? You have applications that can talk back. Isa sa mga uh, capabilities ng Android phone is yung tinatawag nila text-to-speech. So, pwede siyang, pwede niyang basahin yung text mo and then it read back to you, no? The other is that it can listen. No? One of the um, parang unique apps ng Android is called Shazam. No? Yung Shazam, ang gagawin sa kanya, iparinig mo yung piece of music, kanya rin, yung tumutugtog sa box sa radio. No? Iparinig mo sa kanya yung, yung music na yun, hahanapin niya sa internet, ano yung music na yun? Ano yung title and yung sino yung kumanta ng music na yun? So it can understand, no? it can listen. It can also perceive, you can take a photo and using an app called Google Goggles, it can try to understand that and search the internet for, ah, this is a book. Ito yung title ng book na yun, pwede ka niyang read sa Amazon. No? And it can also know where you are. So a lot of um, applications for Android have to do with location-based maps. In fact, um, Earlier in the day, nung papunta kami rito, ang first thing na hinanap ko is syempre yung maps na application which comes with Android. Tapos, hinanap ko doon yung University of Makati. Obviously, duwakas yung University of Makati, no? Ngayon, um, napag-usapan na natin, mobile application is good. Sabi na ng TV speaker. Ngayon, ang tanong, bakit gusto kong develop for Android in particular? From a commercial perspective, madaling maging Android developer. No? Um, there's, unlike yung, ano, yung sa Apple, na meron ka pang mag-register ka even to become a free um, developer, yung meron siyang free account, sa Android, Walang ganun-ganun. I-download mo lang, Android developer ka na. I-download mo yung SDK, you're already an Android developer. No? On the other hand, if you want to publish dun sa Android market, no? uh, instead of $99, ang babayaran mo lang, $25. So, mas mura siya. Diba? Yeah. So, you can use your Android market in the same way na yung sa app, sa iTunes, yung sa, uh, you have the yung app market no? sa, ano, sa iPhone. Sa Android naman, we have something called Android market for distribution. But you don't have to use this. In fact, um, since Android is open, no? hindi ka gaya ng iPhone, sa iPhone, saan kayo pwedeng bumili ng application? Saan kayo pwedeng mag-download ng applications? Doon sa Apple market lang, diba? Doon sa Apple um, app market lang. Sa Android, meron tayong Android market, but it's not the only one offering Android apps. If you Google and go to the, ano, yung, yung sa internet, maraming markets ang Android. In fact, here in the Philippines, meron din yung Globe, nag-o-offer din sila ng sarili nilang applications. No? Smart will also be probably coming up with their own, yung sa netphone nila, meron din sila sariling set of applications. No? So hindi kailangan na uh, restricted ka to one place to get your applications. So medyo mas open ang Android. 
And it's easier to get applications approved, even on the Android market. It also gives you total control. Unlike sa iPhone, ang Android, parang kumbaga, bahala ka kung anong gusto mong gawin dyan. You have, because it's an open source project, people have created um, modifications to the basic Android uh, image and create their own versions and distribute it. So, pwede kung kung sarili mong um, version ng Android. No? And this is what manufacturers do. They take the open source project, they then modify it to fit their devices. Okay. So, for industry, they get an open source software. So, may mga kumpanya, meron silang uh, open source na software na pwede nilang gamitin. The source is available. Ibig sabihin, pwede nilang kalikutin after the handset, yung pag-ship na yung mga handsets. Uh, anyone can build a system image. Now, one of the more popular system images na hindi official is known as Cyanogen Mod. Pag ginugan nyo yun, uy, pwede kong gamitin ito, replace it on my phone. Replace the original one with um, a modified version of Android on my phone. No? So may control kayo. Users have control. No? They control what gets installed. Walang magsasabi kung ano yung kailangan install sa Android mo. Including yung original program. Kunyari, ang, ang Android comes with its own email, com comes with its own browser, pero lahat yun pwede mong palitan. So may control ka kung ano yung pwede mong gawin sa phone mo. They can choose what's the default. Developers, for us who plan to develop for the Android, we don't need permission. We don't need to ask Apple or Google or anybody, Oy, pwede bang gamitin itong app na to? I can give you my uh, application, put it up in a website, and then ask you, if you want to install this, you can, you can install it. Walang bawal. There are no hidden or privileged APIs. So, kung kunyari, your Android phone comes with its own look and feel. If you want to create a program to replace that program, pwede mong palitan. Lahat pwede mong palitan sa Android. Even yung default na phone app niya, yung pantawag niya, pwede mong gumawa ng sarili mong phone app, palitan yung kung ano yung uh, parang what comes with Android by default. Pwede mong palitan lahat yun. So, you have great control no? over what you can do with Android. To a larger extent than any other platform. Kasi, for example, sa BlackBerry, merong restrictions. Hindi mo pwedeng palitan ito, hindi mo pwedeng palitan ito. Sa, sa Apple, ganun din. No? Sa Android, kahit ano pwede mong gawin. Kaya for developers, it's a parang mga open field. Merong disadvantages yun, but parang kumbaga nasa iyo yun kung anong gusto mong gawin. And you can integrate uh, and extend and replace existing applications. In terms of um, yung mobile share, no? so share ng paggamit ng phones, um, as of July 2011, yun yan, 40% na yung smartphones. Of that 40%, iPhone consists of 28%, Blackberry 19%, Android is already at 40%. This is in July 2011. Today, it's even growing faster. So, lumalak pa yung share ng Android. Yung Windows Mobile, medyo bagong lumabas yun, pero they're trying to take up market share, pero medyo nahihirapan sila. Yung growth ng Android is virtually certain na, eh, na papalaki na papalaki yung gumagamit ng Android. Tapos, ito pa yung indicators na People who want to, what's your, parang kung sila, ano yung gusto mo?